So what is the point of this lab? Why are you here? This is a question that I think you should ask of every class you take. And I also think that it's a question that instructors should answer. I'm going to begin by starting with what this lab is not. This lab will not focus on teaching physics concepts. There's been extensive research documenting that labs are actually a fairly ineffective way to teach physics concepts. So we're not even going to try. Second, this lab will not focus on writing lab reports. Each discipline has slightly different conventions for writing these types of documents, and none of you are physics majors. We therefore think that your home departments are probably better suited to teach you this exceptionally important, important skill. So if we're not going to try to use these labs to teach physics concepts, and you're not going to be writing lab reports, what will we be doing? Well, as already stated, we recognize that you're not a physics major. We therefore want to focus on developing general scientific skills that almost all of you will use in your scientific or medical careers. Skills like understanding measurement and uncertainty. Figuring out the sources of uncertainty is one of the biggest challenges in any scientific endeavor. Two, we want to explore fundamental data analysis tool like linear fitting and error propagation and t-tests. Again, some of you may have already seen some of these ideas in other labs or statistics classes, but here we will ask you to use them critically on your own data and may even go beyond what you may have seen in other sources to more advanced ways of thinking about these ideas. Third, we're going to show you some spreadsheet skills. These are skills that you can put on your CV when you go to apply for jobs as they're a big asset for job applicants. We're going to focus on Google Sheets as it's the easiest for us to help you remotely, but the basic principles we discuss will apply to any spreadsheet program. Now, you may have had other science laboratory courses where you were trying to confirm a result from lecture or something like that. I know I had such labs. In such cases, the noise in your data can be annoying and simply try gets in the way of what you're trying to prove or the relationship you're after. Not in this lab course. In this lab, we want the noise. We want the variation. Our entire goal is to understand and quantify and figure out how to fix this uncertainty and to represent it in an honest way. So this reframes how you should think about the experiments. You need to do a careful job so that you can understand what the uncertainties are and maybe identify remaining sources of uncertainty. However, you're not striving to get some particular correct answer. We hope that by the end of this lab, you will leave with some concrete skills that you can transfer to your major courses or your careers or put on your CV or resume, as well as have an appreciation for how difficult making a good measurement can actually be.